Okay, this is the Recticon that we bought at Radio Shack and Strat Master Wires. We just stuck a couple wires into the uh, connector there, and then we have another connection on the fan. And attached to the fan is our CD, uh, just like we put in the storm post of how the mock up was put together. Uh, here we have a stator that we built out of a, another fan uh, with a piece of steel and a couple of nails. A stop motion of the, so you can see what it's configured like there. Details are in the posts. So we're running the running the rotor off of power, and then we, we have a free-floating stator, so we can get some some dynamic tests of how it reacts to the fields uh, as they're in motion. Here you can see repulsion mode. It doesn't really matter how the neos are oriented; they always are in a re state of repulsion when they're at rest. Which, uh, which is an interesting phenomenon. Uh, you would think that there would be a, a point where they wouldn't, but it's not the case. When they're synced, just the opposite is true, and the attractive force is quite strong by comparison to the repulsive force. So you know, once the neos and the rotor sync up, when those fields become synced up, there's a strong attraction between the two, which is demonstrated here. Uh, that's what we're trying to illustrate. And there's a there's a pretty good uh, range. Here we have the counter rotating stator, so it's anti gear wise, as they say in the forums. I attempted to stop that, and just as I was going to show the the rundown of that, my camera failed. I got it spinning again here, um, and again my camera was set to 15 seconds, so that kind of stopped that. Uh, we. Well, it's certainly taken a while, but I finally got it back into a uh, counterclockwise sink. Um, where both both wheels are turning counterclockwise, it feels like it's about ready to fall out. Both both are slowing down here on their own. I think we put a pretty good load on there. You can see the wobble. Um, we might be getting a little bit of stroboscopic and an incandescent light on the left side of the frame and a fluorescent light on the right side, but. Uh, Interesting that that keeps migrating. I don't have these on a flat surface because the, the bearing on the upper fan motor performs better on this incline. I'm going to attempt to uh, slow this down so we can actually see one of these fall out. This is something I don't think anybody's actually seen yet. A little bit of friction here on the wheel. I had a stroboscope for you guys. And there it is now, it's just kind of sticking there. There's our quick and dirty pickup coil that I made for our scope readings. Got a pretty clean sine wave coming off of the stator. And of course, the stator is supposed to stick to the pickup coil, which you'll see right there.